Welcome back to the Ed Show. The big finish tonight. Ooh, we are seeing signs that Tea Party rock star Michelle Bachman could be in real danger of losing her house seat this year. She won her primary on Tuesday, but got the lowest vote percentage for someone in her position since 1962. Bachman's drawn heavy criticism recently for her witch hunt against Muslims in the United States government. And Tuesday's results show voters are fed up with her behavior in Washington. Beyond the primary, recent numbers from a Democratic pollster show that Bachman has got a 51% unfavorable rating. It also shows her with only a five-point lead over her Democratic opponent, Jim Graves. Bachman's long history of reckless rhetoric finally seems to be catching up with her, at least in the polls. And believe me, there's been a lot of rhetoric. Now we've moved into the realm of gangster government. We have gangster government. How about telling you what light bulb you can use? I want people in Minnesota armed and dangerous on this issue. We now have an imperial presidency. Our founders thought taxation without representation was bad. What would they think of representation with? taxation. I don't know what's going to happen. This is the crown jewel of socialism. It is socialized medicine. Socialized medicine is going to kill the country. Socialism is a principle that I reject. Socialized medicine is the heart and soul and the crown jewel of socialism. Joining me tonight is Jim Graves, Democratic candidate for U.S. Congress in the 6th District of Minnesota, running against incumbent Michelle Bachman. Great to have you with us tonight, Jim. Is Michelle Bachman uh, now being recognized in her own district as out of the mainstream, reckless? Has, has, the, has the view of Michelle Bachman changed over the years by constituents? What are you hearing? Ed, no question about it. She is out of touch. The people in the district are fed up with her antics. She's, uh, she's wearing thin, and we're hearing it up and down the streets of the district. People want to change. They want a business person. They want somebody that can actually represent them in Congress and be there for the people. She's not. She's out and about on her own agenda, and people are sick of it. Uh, she says it's, she calls Obamacare socialized medicine. She says that will kill the country. Will you run on the health care bill? Would you go to constituents? Would you go to people that you want to have their support and say that this is a good bill and we need to make it better? Well, you know, Ed, it's a good bill in many ways, and we can make it better, and it's a good start. And by gosh, heretofore, we knew it wasn't working. we got to move forward. we got to bend the health care costs, but by gosh, uh, we're moving forward and we're doing something. She doesn't want to do anything. She wants to go back to the old ways and let, let the big insurance companies and everybody else run this thing. We need to get, uh, get back to the people what they need, and that's access to good health care for everybody. You know, you're a successful businessman. I've checked you out. Uh, you hire union help. You believe in paying a living wage. Uh, your employees are happy. I know I've spoken to them. Uh, but you want to, after all the success you've had in the private sector, you want to join a group that's got a 10% approval rating across the country. What is motivating you to run for Congress? Well, Ed, I, I think I can make a change for the better. Uh, I know how to do it. I've done it in business. We bring people together. We find real solutions to the real problems. Uh, we, we don't try to sense, uh, you know, make these things just so we can get reelected and we can get some money into the coffers like Michelle Bachman does. I really want to go to Congress and actually represent the people and get the thing done. Get jobs on the on, on the on the ground where we need them. We need to get the middle class working again. I have a lot of good employees, and these people need good jobs. They need uh, little ways jobs they need access to health care education they want to pay for their homes they want the same things everybody wants and that's what I'm going to represent those people the people of the district I'm not going to be representing some tea party or uh, try to get on some other news channel or be a celebrity I'm going to work for the people I'm going to serve the people I'm in the hospitality business if you your folks come online and help us out she's got a, a virtual ATM machine she raises money she says crazy things and it brings in money uh, if we can get the money in in uh, through uh, JimGraves.com, we're going to take her on and we're going to win this uh, thing on November 6th. And we're going to bring it back to the people and we're going to make Congress more civil and more functional and we're going to make it happen. Jim Graves, thanks for joining us tonight. We should also point out that you and Michelle Bachman will be the only two on the ticket. In previous races, there have been three people on the ticket, which a lot of people think have really helped Michelle Bachman. It's going to be interesting. Good luck to you. 